What's up everybody, it's Trevor, and today we are going to talk about House of Wolves. We're going to talk about the Reef and everything that Bungie just released in their live stream about the whole thing. Upgrade systems, new vendors, stuff like that. I'm going to talk about what I think about it, what I took from that stream there. I'm going to show you everything as well. Kind of sum it all up if you must. So it's a simple little video that anybody can watch and get the gist of what the stream was all about. Um, and then at the end, we'll talk about some more stuff. I don't know. Super excited. Some stuff, I'm not going to go super into detail because they have more stuff they're going to announce about it and stuff like that. So this right here is mainly stuff that this is the only time we'll hear about it until the launch. So anyways, first things first, though, we got to talk about the Queen's Wrath. This right here is going to be our new vendor, pretty much, or new. It's going to be like Eris Morn. We're going to get all of our bounties from this chick here. We're going to be able to unlock the Queen's Wrath shaders, the emblems for those people that remember those <laughs> way back in the early stages of uh, Destiny. Now, we have confirmation that these bounties are not just going to be a rehash of what the Queen's Wrath bounties were when they first threw this into the uh, Destiny world. If anybody remembers what those missions were, they sound like they will not be in here anymore. They completely redid all the bounties, stuff like that. Also, a bunch of cool shaders and a ship you can get from this. Definitely check it out. I will yeah, get to Anyways, next thing is House of Judgment. Now, this right here is a new guy that's for the uh, arena. Um, I do believe he is the vendor for the arena here. He has some gear that you can buy, but you can also, I do believe, re get rewarded in the arena. Here's his currency, judgment tokens, and fallen cross. Tamed by completing arena challenges. Tamed by obtaining chests in the arena. Killing wanted fallen's increasing reputation with the house of judgment. Also, here's some of the kill breakers gloves for the warlock gauntlets. I do believe this is the warlock gauntlets right here. That you can obtain in the arena or you can buy it from him for an armor core. Here's a new weapon that he's also releasing. They're also releasing a bunch of new perks too. These weapons have one. This weapon deals more bonus damage to fallen shanks. So that's pretty cool. It's kind of like the, the perks like you would find on a, a, a raid weapon. And here is a judgment chance obtained by a chance to acquire prison of elders rewards. So um, you have to have an armored core and a weapons core to get this right here. Don't quite know what that is, uh, but yeah, exciting none the least. He has a bunch of new bands and stuff like that. He sells heavy ammo and special ammo. He's got four ships, which um, didn't get to actually see some of that, and he's got a bunch of shaders that look pretty cool. Again, haven't seen any of the shaders, but from what I hear, it's awesome. Here, here is the actual weapon that he featured in that list there. This thing looks sick. I love what they've done with the weapons so far that I've seen for these. All these new weapons for the Fallen look awesome. Now we'll get to Disciple of Osiris. This one I'm not going to do much detail because they're going to do a whole spiel on it later. But pretty much this right here is the new hardcore um, uh, PvP as I like to call it. He's got some consumables you can see here that will help you in the PvP arena. You have a, a <laughs> you have been granted mercy. Your first loss in the trials will be uh, withdrawn. You have granted Granted a favor, you will start the trials with a win already awarded. If you don't know what trials of size, if you lose a game, you have to obtain another token or whatever. So that's going to be awesome. You're also in the reef itself. You also have your bounty board as well. Now this bounty board is no different than the bounty board in the in the um, tower. So don't worry. You can go to either one. Both mountains are going to be the same for the each day. You also have your containers or your... Um, Storage is also located here in the reef as well. It's something that you don't have to worry about going back to the tower and back to here. These are both exactly the same. You also have the Cryptarch is also in here and the Postmaster as well. The Cryptarch, I don't know where he is. They didn't really show him, but I heard that he's in here. He's going to be no different than the Cryptarch in the tower, so don't just create any rumors that he's going to be better or not. So anyways, but... Now we're going back to the tower where the speaker now has more jobs finally. He can now do material exchange. You can exchange materials for other materials, for Molten Light, for Glimmer, Glam, whatever you want. 
all kinds of cool stuff, man. That's going to be awesome. New Monarchy, all the factions got a whole revamp. All their weapons are brand new looking. All their gear is also kind of new looking as well. Like I said, they threw a bunch of perks on these weapons as well. Feel free to pause and look at some of the perks that you can see on these on these awesome weapons here. They also reskinned some of the weapons to make them look different, more distinct. Here is an LMG that just looks beast. I can't, oh, the thing looks awesome. It's huge looking. They got the scope, everything, man. It, it looks awesome. If you notice here on these weapons, um, they don't have damage upgrades. The damage upgrades now no longer exist on weapons. And uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but uh, Os Crucible has got a and Crucible and Vanguard's got a whole new slew of weapons and less weapons than we do have now. Uh, it's kind of interesting, and also a whole new armor set and stuff like that. But the weapons now, you um, get an upgrade material. I can't remember the upgrade material. I, I should have looked that up. <laughs> but uh, you just pretty much you grab this upgrade material. You as soon as you obtain it, you can upgrade your weapon from 331 to 362. I think is the new level cap. I can't quite remember right now. Um, here's a new Vanguard armor for the Warlock. But as soon as you pop that, it's instant level up. So you just have to go through the perks. This right here is what with Ethereal Light. Um, that is Etheric Light. That is what we're looking for. You can upgrade old legendary weapons from the very beginning of the game. You can upgrade it to the new weapon cap. You can upgrade exotics this is how the new upgrade system will work your um damage upgrades will not exist on the newer uh weapons but you can see here exotics uh take exotic shards plus a weapons parts and then regular legendaries takes one of those she seeds plus glimmer or, and um something like that so now we're going to get in the forge um, here, if you guys know what forging is, forging, if you play Iron Banner, you already acquire yourself with what this is, but this allows you to get a whole new perk roll on your uh, shotgun or your weapons or whatever. You can only do this with the brand new House of Wolf weapons, that's it. So, uh, look forward to that. You can find that at the Gunsmith as well. That was a lot of information. <laughs> uh, if you guys want me to go in depth on any other information, let me know. I kind of screwed over it really fast, faster than I thought I would. There's a lot of stuff that I don't think I covered, but still, check out the live stream if you guys want to. It's awesome. They go over it in more in depth. This is just as a quick overlook of what we've seen so far and what we can expect in House of Wolves. I'm super stoked. I can't wait to finally start upgrading my vault of glass gear to the highest level and start wearing that again and feel badass cannot wait what are you guys gonna upgrade first let me know in the comment box below until next time guys my name is trevor and i'll see you guys in my next video peace